Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you are doing well. This is going to be my slightly late update for the 50 Shades of Purple project. This project is a Fantastic Ladies group project and so I will have their Facebook group linked down below if you want to check them out. They are a panning group on Facebook and they come up with a lot of project pan ideas, not all of them, but a lot of them. And if you're interested in jumping in on some group projects, it's a good place to start. So I will have them linked down below. The whole point of this project is to work on 50 purple products, whether that's the packaging or the product or the name, something to do with purple. And it had started on April 15th last year and it will be ending on April 15th of this year. So I'm definitely feeling the push to start working on this project a little bit more seriously. And I think it will show Typically in these updates, I only talk about the products that I've been working on and I have a lot of products that I pulled from this project because I've been really trying to focus more on the products in this project over the past month. Prior to this update, I have either met my goal or finished eight products. So long way to go. There's still 42 products in this project and I'm happy to report I did meet another goal today. That is from my e.l.f. 100 pan palette. I had the goal of hitting pan on one shade in this palette and I did it today. Yes, I did it today. I've been using this a lot over the past month and I'm so glad that I've met this goal. There's my newest pan for today. Very happy about that. As you guys might know, this is my Panette palette for 2022. So I am working on this palette very consistently now. And um, I just used this shade basically every day throughout the month of January. And um, I won't be talking about this palette anymore in this project, but you will be seeing this palette every month in my Panette palette updates. So this isn't going anywhere anytime oh this isn't going anywhere anytime soon but i did meet my goal for that so that means nine goals have been met for this project 41 to go there are definitely still some products in this project that i'm not working on consistently i don't know if i'm going to get to them at all we'll see i'm optimistic as always but i'm just going to be going over the products that i have been working on first of all i'm still working on my bedhead small talk I made some good progress this past month. I'm assuming that's because we are at the bottom of this little ball and it's less, the width of this packaging is much smaller. So we are down to here now. So you can see this progress from this past month is pretty significant. Some of these previous marks were two or three months worth of progress and all that happened just within the last month. I am cautiously optimistic that this might be gone by next month, if not, by definitely by the month after that I'm assuming there will be some product at the bottom that I'm not gonna be able to get to and at that point I'm gonna call it done because I don't think I'm gonna like grab a spatula well you know I might you never know with me I might grab a spatula and pull it out but I feel the end is near and I'm really excited to get this off my bathroom counter I've mentioned this many times it's an okay product but it's not something I feel like I need in my day-to-day -day routine plus I've had it forever Plus, it's awkward and it takes up a lot of space whether I'm storing it in a cabinet or on my bathroom counter. And I would like that real estate back in my life. So I'm really excited at the thought of this being so close to being done. Another product with some pretty remarkable progress is my body lotion. This is just like a generic kind of dollar store body lotion. I like the scent a lot. The brand is called Body Recipes with chocolate raspberry. And um, this is my new line from the past month. I'm pretty impressed with this much progress, especially since I'm not focusing on this body lotion exclusively. When I post my next update for A to Z, which is the finale for last year and the intro for this year, you will see the new body lotion product that I'm working on in that project. And I've been reaching for that one more days than this one, but I still made some really good progress and I'm really happy about it. So um, if I focused on this exclusively, I think I could finish this off this month, but I also don't think I will focus on this exclusively. We'll see. It's a little bit of a thinner formula, so I, I prefer to use something with a little bit more moisturization during this time of year, and that's really why I'm not using. I'm trying to use what's best for my skin at the right time. So this is a really great lotion once there's a little bit more humidity in the air and I don't need as much like 
I don't need the most concentrated lotion ever. Right now, what I need is the lotion that's gonna do the most good, and this is really light, so. I haven't been reaching for this as much for that reason, but um, maybe, we'll see. I think two more months. I'm guessing two more months for this product. Next is a product I cannot show progress, but that is my Michael Todd face mask. I did use this once for sure, maybe twice in the past month. I can't remember, but definitely one time I used this. It's still basically brand new, so I don't know if I'll be able to finish this before the end of the project. If you know me, you know I'm pretty bad at masking, so it's a stretch, but I'm going to try and throw this on tomorrow morning. It's an easy mask to put on. The last mask that I was panning was really old and kind of dried out. And the mask before that that I was panning stunk to high heaven. And I, both of those were really hard to pan. This one, by comparison, is much easier to pan. However, I'm still pretty bad at masking. So I'll try and use this tomorrow and maybe get two uses in for the next month. Okay, next is my Becca First Light. First Light Priming Filter. This was brand new at the start of this project and my goal is to use half of the bottle and I am now down to here. So basically I made that much progress within the past month because I really hadn't been using this much before this past month. I was working on other primers for last year. So at this point, this is the primary, primary primer. So at this point, this is the main primer I'm using, but um, we'll see if I can make it to the halfway point. I think it's possible that I could do that in the next three and a half months, but we'll see. Okay, my next item is the bronzer from my Too Faced Little Black Book of Bronzers. This is another product that I really started getting into just this past month. I'm working on this bronzer on the purple patch of packaging, and that is called Beach Bunny. I have really been falling in love with this bronzer. It's beautiful. It's not what I'm wearing today. I'm wearing um, Bare Minerals Warmth today, but I do like this bronzer very, very much, and I have been using it a lot more. Basically, I'm panning this plus Bare Minerals Warmth plus technically still my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer, which I've kind of put on the back burner, but I'm going back and forth between this and Bare Minerals Warmth at this time. My goal for this is just to hit pan, We'll see. I don't know if I can make it happen, but I'm gonna keep trying. The next product is my Urban Decay Primer Potion. I believe this is a deluxe sample and not a full size. Deluxe, deluxe sample. I mean, this is a lot of product. I don't think I could finish this by the finale, but I am using this much more now. I'm still rotating and flip-flopping around to a lot of different eye bases. Today, I'm wearing a different eye base and not this, but if there's an eye look that I'm doing that the eye bases, that the colored eye bases I have don't work, this is the eye base I use. This is the primer I use. But if I can make one of my colored eye bases work for my eye look, then I use one of the colored eye bases. So I am all over the place when it comes to eye primers, but I'm glad to be using this. Every time I use this product, I'm reminded of what a good formula it is. It really is a really good eye primer. So I've been enjoying it, but I don't think I'll finish it. Hopefully I will have a little flattening of the packaging before the end of this project. Next, I have my lip balm from Victoria's Secret. I was working on another pot of lip balm for the majority of last year, so I didn't really get to this one until the last few days of 2021, and now I'm pretty much using it, I don't wanna say every day, but maybe three, four times a week, at least four times a week. Anyways, my goal for this product is just to hit pan, and I do have a dip going. I don't, oh, maybe, yeah, there you can kind of see this. A t uh, maybe you could see there a tiny little dip starting. I have a long, long way to go before I hit pan, although I think it's possible I could hit pan. I don't know if it's going to happen, um, but I am working on this at this point because this is my only pot of lip balm that I'm working on. Another lip balm that I've been working on is right here. This is my Origins Drink Up Hydrating Lip Balm. This is that product that was in my lip gloss category for years, and when I put it in this project, I realized it's not a lip gloss at all, it's a lip balm. And so I've been using this one at nighttime and in the mornings as well. Um, this is not my favorite product. I know a lot of people really like this. It's not a favorite for me. Once I eventually use this up, I'm not going to consider repurchasing it 
but this is the shade Plum Punch. It doesn't really show up as any color on my lips at all. It's basically clear on my lips, but um, it's very, very thick. And I don't know if I really like it, a lip product that thick. But my goal for this is to finish it. Again, I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it, but I think I'm gonna do as much damage on this product as I can between now and the finale. And like I said in my inventory, once the finale comes and goes, since all of my lip treatment products are in this project, I will probably pick one and stick with it and finish it off for the rest of the year. Or maybe I'll pick something that wasn't in this project. I don't know, but I will reassess what I need on April 15th and decide what I'm gonna do for the rest of the year as far as lip balms because they're all in this project and this project ends on April 15th. I have another product that's been sitting in my lip gloss inventory for years, but I've been using it as a lip balm as well. And that is my Victoria's Secret Lip Shine. This is in the scent Wild Berry Bouquet. I've had these forever. These are a million years old. And I kind of forgot that I had put it in this project until I was doing my inventory. And then I was like, oh, yes, you, I remember you. And so I have been reaching for this a lot over the last week, but not much prior to that. My goal for this is to finish it. That's not gonna happen. So basically, every morning and every night, I'm reaching to one of these three after I brush my teeth. Um, and that's about it. So it's hard to make progress on one item when I'm only using it twice a day, but between three, the progress really slows down. But I am using this and I hope to have this go down a little bit. I mean, there's a tiny little gap at the top, but basically it is still full. A few lip glosses that I have the goal to finish have been used in this past month. This one is the Butter London Glaze and Lip Gloss in Fairy Dust. And this one is the ColourPop Ultra Glossy Lip in Wishes. I've used both of these in the past month. I tend to reach for this one, bless you. I tend to reach for this one a little bit more often. It's got this cute little applicator and the product kind of squirts out of those holes. I don't know why, but I like that. I like this product. I could see through the packaging that um, this goes up, of course, and it's right here. I should mark it. It's like right at the B in Fabrique. I should see if I can get it up higher by next month, but I have been reaching for this. Both of these I tend to use as toppers to um, lipsticks like the one I'm wearing now, but um, I'm not wearing either one of these now, but I do tend to use these more as lip toppers than standalone products, but I like them both and I've been enjoying them. The lip product that I am wearing today is my MAC Lipstick in Twig. This is in that special edition packaging that came out with some collection. And so because it has that purple flash in it, that purple oil spill look, I decided to put it in this project. Um, my goal is to use half of this lipstick bullet. I am so far away from using up half, it's ridiculous, but I have been reaching for this a lot. I really like this color. I actually like this color a lot. This was a brand new lipstick prior to me putting it in this project. And um, it is a comfortable matte, very comfortable matte. It's called a satin lipstick, but yeah, satin matte, I can't really tell the difference, but it's extremely comfortable and I enjoy wearing it. Sometimes I put one of those lip toppers on top of it and other times I just leave it the way it is. I don't have a new mark to make on my paper. I am just slightly below my previous mark. So I didn't bother to make a new mark. So that's the idea of, <laughs> I have such a long way to go. But that's how much I've used so far, and I really didn't feel like I could make a new mark. Probably not gonna meet my goal on that one either. The lipstick I've been wearing the most often throughout the month of January is my Revlon, um, what are these called? Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain in Darling. I've been reaching for this so much during the month of January. This is living in my purse. I haven't been winding it up to see my progress and I'm gonna do it right now. I'm gonna be so disappointed if it looks exactly the same. Since my goal is to finish this, I didn't mark it on paper. I probably should have, but, um, oh, there's still so much product left. All right, that's where we're at. I might have a photo of this 
from last month or the month before that I could compare it to. But uh, still got a long way to go. I don't know if I could finish this by the finale. I'm going to keep working on it. This lives in my purse. And I love it. I like it a lot. While I was prepping for my Pantone Color of the Year video that I did with Alex, I was looking to see when I got into following the Pantone Color of the Year and when that had an impact on me as far as my makeup use up. And it turns out it was 2014 and the Pantone Color of the Year that year was Radiant Orchid, which is probably the year that I bought this. Holy cow, am I working on a lipstick that is eight years old? Probably, probably. This is probably an eight-year-old lip. I can't believe it. It seems brand new to me, but this might be as old as my son. So it would be good to use this up this year. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I'm going to try. All right, next I have my eye base that I am currently wearing. This is an Avon Extra Lasting eyeshadow pencil crayon in the shade violet my goal for this is to use it 15 times and I am now at nine uses basically I've been doing the same eye look over and over and over throughout the month I put this on as an eye base then I put the purple from my elf 100 pan palette throughout my crease and then I put the purple from my Pat McGrath that's in my pan on every palette all over my lid and my lower lash line and that's it. That's the look I've just been going to over and over and over throughout the month. So I am up to nine uses for this. I have six more to go before that goal is met for this project. So hopefully I will do that by next month. I only have six more uses. I'm not even bringing out my little palette of single eyeshadows. I don't feel like I reached for them at all in the past month. So we're not talking about those. I've just been doing the same look over and over and over again. I don't know if you guys have noticed or if you're sick of seeing it, but this eye look has been on repeat because I really am trying to hit pan on that Pat McGrath eyeshadow. It still hasn't happened yet. And finally, the last two products that I have progress on are my two nail polishes, two out of the three nail polishes that I have in this project. First of all, I have Finger Paints Hue New. Talk about very peri. I think this is a pretty good, very peri color. Um, my goal is to use this five times, and I am now up to three uses for this. So two more to go. And then I have Charmed from Kale Polish. This is a pretty sheer duochrome polish with like a purple, lavender, blue shift. And my goal again for this is five uses as well, and I am up to one use on this. So what I did was I did one coat of this, and then one coat of this, and then on top of it, I did one coat of this Sally Hansen Insta Dry Prismatic Shine. This is in the shade Moonstone, and it's got this like blue iridescent, I don't want to call them glitter, but like, yeah, glitter. We'll call it glitter. It has this like blue iridescent glitter in it. So I did one coat of this, one coat of this, and one coat of this for a nail polish look in the past month. I liked it. Um, for, something wasn't drying down well, so I had sheet marks all over it the next morning, which is the worst. But um, usually I don't put three coats total on my nails. I usually just do two coats and then a top coat. So it might have been one coat too many. I don't know. Anyways, that is everything I have to go over for this update. So many products. I'm really happy to have met a goal on another product, and I do think I will have a, another goal or two met for next month. I think I'll be meeting a goal or two every month from now until the end of the project. I don't think I will meet my goal on all 50 products. I never thought I could, though, but I'm glad I'm getting more of these products into everyday use and rotation now that we're getting closer to the finale, now that it's 2022, it's time to get serious. I am a procrastinator and um, it, I, I need a deadline like right in front of my face to get going on something. Otherwise, I'll just get easily distracted. So it's, it's crunch time and I am focusing on these products much more. And I think we're going to see a lot more empties from month to month between now and the end of the project. And I'm just going to keep doing the best I can. So that is it for this update. Thank you so very much for watching. I do appreciate it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.